Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week. This week we'll be covering restoring backup files in all flavors of Revit, including MEP, structure, and architecture. This seminar is sponsored by CADTech Seminars. We do Revit training, implementation, and setup and support. So anything to do with Revit, we're there. You can find us on the web at cadtechseminars.com or easier, freerevittraining.com. And our latest and greatest, therevitguy.com. So let's take a look. We're going to drop this down and take a look at Revit now. What we have here on the screen is a building. Now, let's say we've set up a central file and we started working. What you'll notice is when you create a central file, you do not have the, the local local backups or wherever you were backing up before, wherever you were saving the files before, you're not having the 001002 files appearing anymore. Uh, Revit's taken a different approach as far as backing up now and actually puts it in a file uh, and in that file all the information is being held. Don't delete the file, don't rename the file, don't move that file. The file will have the same name. Let's take a look. If I go in here you'll see we have Office Project Central File the Revit Guy .rvt. This is my main local file. Now as I make changes to the local file you'll see in here there's this backup folder. This backup folder contains all the backups. So this is important. Now also if we go out to let's say the network and I've got some actually uh, local here so I'll just go to my documents <coughs> and you'll see we have these also. Now on the, cent in a, on the central side now let's say this is our central folder here. If I come down here and we're going to go to our office project you'll see in here we have office project right? Now this is the office file central backup so we actually have if set up properly we have 20 backups of the central file and 20 backups of the local file. So the local file is down well this is the central file location. The central file we have 20 backup of, backups of it in this folder and then I'm going to go to my local which is on my C drive and I've got one here called Revit local files uh, and in here the local file I'm working on and then the backups here. So this is where the files are located. Now let's see how they work and how to set them up. We're going to drop down the big R up top, the application menu, and we go on down to options. Now in here if we start popping through the different aspects here you'll see we have uh, first of all file locations. Now in the file locations what I've done is I've changed the default path for user files and when I set up an office what I do is I create a Revit local files on each machine. What this does is if in the future I or someone needs to go find the local files like we're going to do in a moment I know right where they're located. I don't have to go looking in let's say the person's document files. They don't accidentally get deleted because maybe he puts his pictures and family things in there. So we know that the local files are in their own location and they're safe. So we can go back and edit them uh, or adjust them later. Now um, I'm going to hit cancel out of this. Now as I poke through here you'll notice that we don't have a lot of information on the actual information about the backups and how many. You'll see it says synchron synchronized notification, save notification. So where is all this stuff set up? We're going to hit cancel out of this and we're going to go up top and I'm going to drop this down. and I'm going to go save as uh, project now if I go hit options here you'll notice that maximum number of backups. So this is where we'll actually um, set this number. So when you create the central file for the first time you can set this number. Um, 20 is the default. You can go higher or uh, I wouldn't recommend lower but if you want to go higher there's not a problem there. So this is where we set the number and then you'll notice a moment ago where we set the actual locations. Now uh, just a rule of thumb to remember is that the backup folder is in the same location as the actual file. They sit in the same folder together as you can see here. So if you in your projects let's say on a server you have project folders etc etc in that project folder wherever the central file resides you should see one here. Now, now that we understand where they are let's see how they work and what we can do. Now on this uh, little floor plan here I've got some basic stuff going on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving some things around. I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to filter out, uh, turn off the furniture of the rooms there. And I'm just going to take the piece of furniture and let's say move it out in the yard. Okay, now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit save. Drop this down and I hit save. Now, it's saving local. 
So again, there's a backup just been made of that local change. I'll go through this again. I'm going to use a little crossing here, or window this time. I'm going to move some objects out in the yard. Now it might start throwing fits because of the things I'm moving. We're not going to worry about that. Again, I'm going to now go up top and hit save again. Now, uh, I'm also going to now hit synchronize. Now when I synchronize, it's going to synchronize with the central file. And it's going to make, again, a backup in the central file location too. Now I'm going to drag this out again. And I'm going to keep saving a few times just so we can see how this backup is going to work. Now, when we synchronize with central, there's another thing to consider. Synchronize and modify settings. Every time I synchronize, you'll see it saves the local file before and after synchronize with central. So, there's going to be a, a save before, and then there'll be one backup. We'll then synchronize, so the synchronized file will be saved and the backup will be made. And then we'll do it again locally. So, pretty much three copies are being saved and three older versions are being saved as backups. So every time we do this a lot of stuff's going on behind the scenes. So I'm going to move I move those furniture like so. Now let's actually go ahead and uh, we hit save a whole bunch of times and hit save again. Now let's say something's blown up even in, in the fact that we may not even want to go into this file again. We may say I've blown it up so bad I can't get to it. But if we want if we can get into it and want to back up, you'll see it says restore backups here. Now here's where it starts to get interesting. When I hit restore backup, it's going to pull up and says, hey, what file do you want to actually use here? Now I'm going to go up one and I'm going to highlight the file, not in the file. Okay, see if I go into the file, double click, it says this folder is empty. If I hit open, well, it actually pulled it up. But uh, for the most part, I click on a file and just hit open. This here, are all the saves that I've done. And you can notice here that as I go back, you'll see the time, let's say this is from earlier tonight. And then as I move through, you can see it's getting later and later. So every time I save, you can see we have actually uh, those being saved. Now, I'm going to come back to the first one. I click it. Now, here's where it gets scary. If I hit roll back, we can, you're going to see the warning pop up. This roll back, back cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to continue? All backup versions later than the selected one, meaning every other one, will be lost. So, what if we're not sure? You're thinking, hmm. Well, we can try something a little different. You'll see it says save as. So when I hit this, it's going to say save it as a new file somewhere. So just to make it simple, we'll go over here and I'm going to put it, let's say maybe my, I'm trying to think where I want to put it. We'll just call it right here. I'm going to call it office project. I'm just going to call uh save my butt. Okay, I hit OK on that. Now, I've saved it to the desktop. Okay, now do we want to open that extracted project? Hit yes. Now, let's see what happens. Notice what has happened. It says you'll not be able to synchronize with Central because there's maybe some issue here. Now that's okay. What we can do is hit close out of this and I'll just go save as a new central file and get it back up and running. But you'll see how these files are here for us to go back. Now, if you're really worried that, let's say maybe it's your first time dealing with this, you're like, Ken, I don't know if I want to go in there and mess with any of that stuff because what if I push it too far or mess something up? So there's another way to do it. I'm going to close this out. Okay, I just close the local file and relinquish. Okay. I'm trying to close that out again. Okay, close the local file. Um, we'll just hit keep ownership. There we go. Now, we're back where we were. Now, we saved a few times. We synchronized a few times. You're thinking, okay, I want to go in there and try these things, but I don't want to actually mess anything up. Now, if we go back to restore backup, and again, I'm going to pick on that file, and then I just hit open, and it brings them up again. So you can see they're still here. So the real trick is the save as. Okay. So by using the the backup which is under collaborate and restore backups you can see how we can actually go in here hit open and then jump back now let's look at the actual central file location I'm going to hit close out of this now we'll go back up top again restore backups and we're now going to scroll on down and I happen to have it in documents just for simplicity here we'll scroll down here and we have one called office project central file backup when I hit open, you'll see in here, it's going to take a moment, 
and here's all the times we synchronized. So you'll see it's got some numbers in here, and then it saved the last um, 20. Now this one's only been uh, saved a handful of times, but these are all the backups. Now at this point, again, I can click on it, and the trick is choose Save As. That way we can push it out as its own file, and then open it up and verify that it's right, and then we maybe I'll, at that point recreate the central file if it's that bad, or do what we need to do. So there you go. There's the uh, tip of the week, how the backup works in Revit. Uh, we also can go to it without this being open. Last little tidbit here, uh, I hit close, notice with just a blank screen, collaborate, restore backup. So you can go directly from here uh, and access it. So you don't even have to be in a project to access this tool, which is quite nice. So there you go, that is uh, tip of the week. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at cadtechseminars.com or freerevittraining.com. Thank you.